Hi there, my name is Caleb Quay and uh, I represent Brazen Guitars and I would like to welcome you to our first uh, workshop uh, regarding how you can get your sound defined when you first go out and buy a guitar. So the question of the day is, do you know what your guitar really sounds like? In today's world of uh, many guitars, different kinds and many effects, etc and a whole bunch of technology it's easy to get lost in a world of sound and not really know where you're at so what I'd like to do is share um, a generic principle by which you can get your sound uh, defined pretty well defined from the get-go from like when you first buy a new guitar regardless of the make or, or whatever of the guitar um, before we do that, it's first thing, it's, it's, easy, it's important to um, distinguish and make a decision about what kind of sound you want to go for. What I mean by that is there's what's called two sound paradigms when it comes to guitars, and that's single coil or the humbucking sound. Do you want to be in the single coil sound or the humbucking world? And now, of course, with the way they make guitars, it is possible to get a blend of both. But for instance, I brought along with me um, a representative of the single coil sound, which is a Fender Telecaster I have here. So if you're familiar with that kind of sound, you hear that on a lot of um, uh, Nashville country music. Um, that's a single coil sound. It's very uh, bright, Fender-y kind of sound. Sweet, bright and sweet. Um, this guitar <clears throat> is in the more of the humbucking sound. This is a humbucking pickup right here. And um, so this is more of the Gibson kind of sound, Les Paul, etc. So it's thicker, a little darker, and uh, the the uh, as opposed to the single coil sound, which is brighter. So um, with that in mind, let's start with this generic principle. It's an old saying that uh, I learned in the studios many years ago. It's called "flat is where it's at." Now what that is, it's it serves as a compass. Point, if you like, a compass reference point. It's like due north, as it were, in the world of EQ. So where we start is on our amplifier. Flat simply means that you're not adding any EQ and you're not taking any away. So you set, as you can see on my amplifier here, uh, you set your volume and tone, so that's uh, my uh, bass and treble, at due north. That means I'm not adding anything, I'm not taking anything away and I've got my volume set at due north, so it's a reasonable volume, it's not too loud, but it's a full, full sound. So having done that, <clears throat> then you play your guitar, and uh, you start to listen to your guitar with this flat EQ on the amp, you listen to each pickup, and what you're listening for is an overall balance of both um, volume between the pickups and tonality. So that is uh, degrees of highs and lows. You, you, you don't want the guitar to be too bassy sounding, etc. And so there's my guitar, that's flat. So I've already got mine balanced in, but let's say for instance, having a, set it flat on the amp, that as you play it, you find that the guitars maybe, it sounds too bass heavy, or conversely bass light, then what you can do, take a little screwdriver and each pickup has these adjustment knobs right here. And the pickup will adjust side to side like this. And so you can uh, bring the pickup, you can either raise it or lower it uh, according to your desire, according to what you're hearing. And the idea is you wanna go through each pickup Okay, kind of like that. And so you're looking for overall balance to get your guitar what we call centered. Why centered? 
because the guitar fundamentally is a mid-range instrument. In the overall spectrum of things, you know, you've got your bass down here with the kick drum. The guitar sits in with the keyboards right in the middle there. And, uh, and then violins and what have you are way up, upstairs. But the guitar fundamentally is a mid-range coloring instrument. Very effective, but um, you need to recognize that it's mid-range. And mid-range is where clarity and definition come from. So guitar is very important uh, in that regard in the overall scheme of things. Uh, just a few uh, pointers here, a few words about this particular guitar I'm playing. Uh, it's a Caleb Quay signature model uh, made by Brazen Guitars. And they were kind enough to ask me uh, what, what would I like to see uh, in a guitar. And I thought, that's nice, nobody's ever asked me that before. So um, I got together with my guitar tech, Alan Lane, and we brainstormed this unique pickup configuration. Now to me it wasn't actually unique because um, I figured well I wanted a combination of three what I call three iconic sounds. I wanted a combination of a Les Paul jazz kind of a sound and then a Telecaster and a Strat sound. So um, this is why we have the humbucker at the neck position. Often people said to me well why, why do you have the humbucker at the neck? Uh, it should be at the bridge and I thought well the jazz sound comes from the neck, and the humbucker is, this is a, a humbucker jazz pickup, Seymour Duncan humbucker, and I thought it's supposed to go at the neck, so that's why it's at the neck. And then we, we put these two cool rails down here to get the snap and twang and bite for the more rock, you know, oriented uh, sounds. So that explains why these pickups are configured the way they are. So having said all that, now we're balanced in, we're centered, we have our flat response, flat EQ. Uh, now we can move on to the area of effects pedals and things like that and uh, looking at guitar tone within song context. <laughs> go through the pickups this is in between now it starts to get a bit more strat like and we have a single coil split we can add to it as well thins it out a little bit makes it even more strat like and on we go through this is the middle pickup now between the two uh, cool rails now we're like a telecaster and all of this is still with flat response on the amp but still very distinct now this is the bridge pickup Tone for days in any pickup setting. <laughs> 